What's up everybody? Welcome to Hustle of Drew. I am Drew and today's video I am going to talk about the best, the most underrated, not talked about way to get jobs uh, for your photo booth rental company for free. No, we're not talking about um, Facebook. We're not talking about social media. We're talking about networking. I know, right? Networking. Who wants to network? I know a lot of people don't. But if you're not willing to network or have someone on your team to network for you, I promise you, you will not grow and you will not last in this business. I mean, if your goal is to make this uh, photo booth rental business good income, like make a lot of money, this is something you need to do. If you wanna just maybe have an event once a month, maybe two times a month, then okay, maybe you don't need to do this. Maybe posting on Craigslist and offer up, maybe that might just be enough and it all depends on what you want. But if you wanna make serious, legit good money, passively and get jobs passively and spend no money you have to network and I'm gonna tell you how to do it okay so the easiest way to do it is go on Google find local venues event planners DJs anyone in the event industry that has contact and relationships with um, people that have money that are having events basically contact them let them know that you would love to partner up you would love to be in addition to what they're already offering um, and then if you have any upgrades that you are willing to give for free to their customers give it so example for me when I call I always let them know like we'd like to be preferred vendor and the upgrade that I offer is something that is already free to me something that's not going to cost me any money so for my iPad photo booth we use a software called Luma booth there is an option that allows people to use boomerang and video I usually charge extra for that for the customers that hire me and it's $75 to add that onto their event but for these venues I offer it for free so it's costing me nothing and it adds a lot of value and it often is the make or break of the partnership that I'm trying to build with these people right so you want to call up, um, let them know that, you know, this is something you're interested in. You want to be preferred vendor. If they tell you they already have a preferred vendor for a photo booth, let them know like, well, hey, what would it take for us to be second in line? And just let them know like, you know, just in case your company, your preferred vendor is busy, we would still love to work with you. We love the venue and we think that would be a perfect match. Just don't give up so easy. And honestly, you know, <laughs> don't be discouraged when you get a bunch of no's. You know, you could easily call a hundred places, spend three hours calling a hundred venues, event planners, whatever. But what if the 101th, the 101 person you call says yes. And that one yes could literally be one event a week, two events a week. You know, who knows how busy they are. Maybe they like you so much, they actually go out of their way to try to sell your services to their customers. And that is something that we actually have. We have venues, we have event planners doing that for us. And another reason why this type of networking is crucial is because from my own experience, when I get hired through these outlets, through the event planners and venues, the people that are hiring me have more money to spend on my services. So they usually do all the upgrades, if it's a print photo booth, they usually want it for a minimum of four hours and they're willing to pay extra. So, you know, it's just like a no brainer. So if you're having a hard time taking time out of your day to call and network, think of it like this. Technically, right, when you call these venues, they, be, they basically come, how can I say it, like resources that will get you jobs for free pretty much for the duration of however they're in the business. As long as the relationship is good and you don't mess up an event, they're gonna basically work for you for free. Think of it as gaining employees that are willing to work for free. That's like, as any business owner, if you have an option for that, right, to, to, to get employees for free, why wouldn't you do it? Think of them as your sales team. So um, I don't know what else to talk about uh, when it comes to this. Oh, okay, yeah, I do, before I sign off. If you're not going to call or write emails, use social media. There are a lot of event planners, venues that are on social. Come up with a copy and paste message just saying your name, your services, your, I'm sorry, your name, your business, what you do, and what you would like and how it could benefit everyone. So don't, don't just write a message saying like, hey, this is me. I would love to, to work with you. I, I want jobs. <laughs> that's not how it works. That's not going to get you very far. Say your name, what you do, what you can offer, and how it helps everyone. 
because if you're writing a message and, and you're only talking about what you're wanting, no one cares about that, you know? They, if you can help someone, then you become a value. So have a message, copy and paste it, and um, every time you're taking a shit, literally you guys, get your phone out and just do it. You know, if you're gonna sit on the toilet for 10 minutes, get your phone out and do 10 minutes of networking. You'll be, you'll be blown away on, on how far you can get with literally just some simple text messages or direct messages. So you guys, uh, this is gonna wrap up the video. I hope I wasn't too intense <laughs> on this subject, but it just blows my mind that not everyone is doing this. Um, so yeah, I will see you guys in the next video. Take care of yourself, bye.